We're here again with our infamous Pivot Explorer stroller slash wagon and here is the much awaited sleep pack. So our little kiddo is sleeping right now and we figured this would be the perfect time to show you guys what we do for a sleep pack. Um, we did a video on this previously and we promised you the sleep pack was going to come and here it is. In order to start the sleep pack, we also had to find a tray hack. So here's the tray. If you want your kiddo to sleep, where are you gonna put the tray? So my husband thought of something ingenious. You just slip it in here, in between the bar and the caddy, and that's it. It stays, we took this everywhere, hills, all over San Francisco, it never fell off. So put it in there, it took a second. Now, while our kiddo is sleeping, um, Hubs and I are gonna eat some food, so we have some food with us. And for the sleep pack, this is literally, literally all you'll need. A $1 container from the Dollar Tree store. And we got these on Amazon. It was eight bucks for two of them. They're actually seats that you put on a lawn if you're picnicking so your bum bum doesn't get wet or anything like that. These are perfect for this hack. And again, they come in a pair. It's nice to have two of them. Um, it's more comfortable for the kid if you have two. So what you do is you take this, and another thing too, this fits perfectly in the little case here, and it doesn't take up any room because you could put a bunch of stuff in there. It actually is better to put this in there because it stabilizes everything. It's not so loosely fit. Um, and then you take it out, turn it upside down, put it in the little footwell, and then these two things, I don't know if you want to come closer so you can see inside. You're going to take one of them, and they fold accordion style. You're going to put one inside here and lay it out flat. You're going to take the other one and lay it out flat. And that's it. Now, another thing you're going to need are blankets. Now, it seems like so much trouble to carry all these things. The best way to put the blanket in your stroller without it taking space is put it on the back. So I have two blankets, actually. I have one here and I have one here. Um, this is really cool. A really good friend gave this to us. It's one of those stroller blankets that you connect to the stroller and then it's like a, a stroller sleeping bag. Uh, before I just used to use two blankets. I use this because I feel like it's better now to do, but if you don't have this, just use two blankets. Put this in, open it up, and that's it. And then the kiddo sleeps safe and soundly, very comfortably. Um, Josiah does not wake up in this. We actually have been everywhere while he's sleeping, on the bus, around the zoo, busy streets, and he stays nice and sound asleep. The only thing that wakes him up is the sun. Again, remember, these canopies do not close all the way. There's a big opening, so if we are out in the sun, the sun shines through, hits his face. So what I do is I get a scarf, a blanket scarf. So this is dual purpose. I use it for myself, but I also use it for him. So put the canopies down. One goes down all the way, and then one goes up a little bit. You could kind of finagle with it, see what you want to do. Um, if it's really windy, I adjust the canopies as needed. But you just put your scarf on top. And ta-da, the sleep pack. If you don't believe us that it works, we are gonna put our sleeping kiddo in it.
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're here at the San Francisco Zoo right now hanging out. And uh, more videos coming soon. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, thanks for reminding us to do the second part of the hack. And uh, we hope you guys make a good decision on what stroller wagon you want to grab. So Jojo, say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye, Jojo. Uh, flying kiss. Uh, and pretty eyes. Woo, boy! <laughs> Alright, bye. Bye.